All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble a Lenovo Yoga 14. So first what you wanna do is undo all the screws from the bottom. So there'll be three hidden under some rubber caps here. You can just get them out with your fingernails or a needle. Okay, and there, as you can see, they have these little slots on them. So you have to actually um, make sure to not mix them up or they won't go back in properly. Okay, all right, so remove all the screws. So there's one, two, three. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The three here will come out. The other ones will all stay in place. So these three, take them out and keep them all in order so you don't lose them. Once you do that, take out the the little stylus and then go on the side. And you want to pry between the gap here. I don't know if you can see it, but pry between the gap here. Okay. This I kind of popped it out already. But you basically go all along, pop all the little um, parts, and then it will actually open up at an angle just like that, okay? So there's lots of clips on it, it'll just pop up easily, okay? Once you do that, as you can see, there's the CMOS battery here, um, there's the LCD connector here, um, I believe this is the touch connector. Um, I don't know if they're combining the touchscreen connector and the cameras and things like that. Usually they'll combine the camera and the microphone. Um, and then you got the charge port. Looks like it's easy to remove underneath this bracket. Then you got the wireless card here. Um, to remove the antennas, you just pull up on the tail so it goes at an angle. Don't try and pry from the front or you can damage it. Um, when you undo the screw for the wireless antenna, it'll pop up at an angle and you can just wiggle it out. Um, the battery connector here, so usually when you work on stuff, if you're going to disconnect any of these connectors, you want to take out the battery. So this one is a little weird. Let me see if I can show this. Um, so this connector, usually I would like just pry them up like this. But this connector, um, you pry the front up here like this a little, and then it actually slides forward to release the whole connector, okay? So when you put this connector back, you have to put the back, there's two parts that stick out towards the back and two that stick out towards the front. The ones towards the back, you need to put those first. So it's at an angle like this, and then slide it back. And then once you slide the those connectors back underneath the plastic part here, then you can push this part down. So you just slide it back like that. And then, actually, let's see, it's not going down. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and then you can snap down the front, okay? So it's a little bit tricky. Oh, it turned, this one, it has a defect. It's broken, the logic board. So we're not actually gonna fix this. The customer said it wasn't worth the cost. Um, but yeah, it does that because it's defective. Then you can see what type of RAM. Um, so this is using uh, DDR3, so eight gigs. This is PC3 12800S, okay? So DDR3, all right, I'll probably remove this just so when I take out the hard drive, it's not gonna be running. Okay, then you got the speaker connector here for the, this will be the le your left speaker, then your right speaker, um, you got the connector here. Um, the battery, there's a few screws holding it in place if you need to change it out. Um, let's see, is there anything else? You got this purple cable, I believe this is going all the way I don't know if this is going all the way across actually because the connector is different. So I can open it up and check. Usually I don't do this because I don't want to damage more things, but since this computer isn't going to be used, then I'll take it apart. So there's not really any risk here since this computer is not going to be repaired or anything. Okay. So I'll take this all the way out. There's some tape holding the battery in place, or the battery connector. I'm not gonna take that out. I'm just gonna lift this so I can see what's underneath. Actually, it's just holding the wireless card. Okay, so you got this one board here. There's a separate board that's for the SD card slot. So that's what this connector's for. And then this one is for the trackpad. Then you can see there's a connector going underneath for um, the keyboard backlight. So if this model, Oh yeah, the keyboard comes out separately. So the keyboard actually comes out from the top, it looks like. So I'm gonna see if I can take that out. But um, 
Yeah. So the keyboard would be separate. It would be on the other side. Then you got the hard drive. To take the hard drive out, um, you flip up the little black tab, and then you can remove the connector. This part actually has a little um, latch or something. So what you do is you pull the black piece, and you pull it out this way. Don't pull straight up. So you pull that way, and then you can lift it up. So just like that. You can see it has this part that sticks out, and it gets caught under there. So this actually has an SSD in it. I'm going to take the connector off. So the easiest way to get these connectors out is you get a pry tool or your fingernail, and then go between there, and then just twist. And that will pry out this connector. So like that, just twist. Okay. You can use like a flathead if you have a bigger flathead, or even a small coin if it'll fit. But that's how you loosen that and then you can wiggle this out okay so we're gonna leave this in there um, let's take the SSD out so this I believe there's no screws yep you just pull these little brackets out okay just like this just like that okay so we'll leave this in here I don't know if the customer is gonna um, sell this as parts or something but We'll just leave this all in here just in case okay so you got that and then let's see what these other connectors are for you got okay so this connector is for the little thinkpad light the little red dot and then this is for the buttons on the side and those buttons are for the power button and the volume okay and then there's another slot here I'm not sure exactly. Okay, this says it's for a wide area network card. I think this is like if you were doing a SIM card because um, they have the SIM card slot here. Uh, let's see what else. Everything else seems to be part of the board. The CPU is soldered to the board, so you can't replace that. Then you got the fan. Um, the fan seems to be attached to the heat sink. Um, you might be able to remove the fan from the other side if you take these small screws out and then flip the whole board over or take the whole heat sink out and then you can probably separate the fan from this metal piece here. Um, but that's pretty much all there is that you can remove. Um, I'm going to open up again see and see if uh, the keyboard is removable. Um, so let's see here. If not, this is pretty much all there is to it. So slide that back in back down. Let's put the screws back for the battery. Okay, so they actually mark which one so you hopefully won't forget which screws, which holes the screws go into. Okay. It's out of view, sorry. Okay, so we got all of that. Put this back on. Do it at an angle, just like before. Put this side first, make it easier. Okay. Tighten some screws so it doesn't move around. I believe the three screws here probably help hold the keyboard in place. I'll know once I take the keyboard out. So clips all back in place. Okay, tighten up the screws. Hopefully nobody's gonna call or message me and then mess up the recording. See if we can get the keyboard out. Just open it up. Let's see. I don't see any screws. It looks like it's somewhat popping out already. That's kind of strange. Um, usually you go from the top here. Now let's see if are there any clips? It's hmm. interesting. There's no clips here at all. 
I'm not too sure. This, I guess I'd have to, usually for these, if I can't figure out how it's held in place, like this one, I'm not really sure how this keyboard is holding itself down. Um, usually what I do is I look for the keyboard on eBay or Amazon or something, and then using that, I look at the back, and from there I can kind of tell how the keyboard is holding itself in place. Um, this keyboard, it's kind of weird. It's like hovering off the whole frame so I don't know if I want to mess with it but um it looks like this frame comes out I don't I don't want to pry it and then damage something so I'm not going to show that in the video um if you're curious the best way to find out how this keyboard is holding itself in place is to go on eBay Amazon or wherever and search for the keyboard for this model and then look at a picture of the back Usually from there you can tell if it has like holes going all through the keyboard, most likely you're going to have to peel up this thing and then undo a bunch of screws underneath. But um, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, hopefully this video helped you. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe because that'll help me. And thank you for watching. All right. Bye.